am Alexandra Kitschy, National President of the Ukrainian Canadian Congress. Thank you for joining us as we commemorate the 89th anniversary and launch the 90th anniversary commemorative year of the Holodomor famine genocide of 1932-1933. Every year, our communities honor the millions of innocent victims of the Holodomor, Soviet Russia's attempt to destroy the Ukrainian people. This year, the need to unite has never been more critical. Russia has launched a full-scale war against Ukraine and is committing another genocide against the Ukrainian people. We must remain one with the people of Ukraine. This year, we unite under the motto Pamyatayemo, Yednayemo, Serperemoshemo. We remember, we unite, and we shall overcome. We unite in memory of all the innocent people murdered by the Soviet communist regime during the Holodomor, and we unite in honor of the Holodomor survivors whose courage in sharing their story ensured that the world knew about the Holodomor. And we unite in recognition of the bravery and resilience of the Ukrainian people who today courageously defend their liberty and the freedom of Europe from Russia's tyranny. This year, National Holodomor Awareness Week takes place from November 21 to November 27. National Holodomor Memorial Day will be observed on Saturday, November 26. On this day, we ask that at 7.32 p.m. local time, all Canadians pause for a moment of silence to honour the memory of the victims and to light a candle of remembrance. Please post photos of your candles on social media along with your thoughts and remembrances. And please ask your local churches to toll their bells at 7.32 p.m. in honor of the victims. Please visit the website of the Ukrainian Canadian Congress at ucc.ca for information about educational and commemorative events that will be held throughout National Holodomor Awareness Week. Thank you, Dyakuyu, merci, May the memory of the victims be eternal. Vichnaya Pamyat. Hello, everyone. Bonjour à tous. For starters, I'd like to thank the Ukrainian Canadian Congress for bringing us together to reflect on and to preserve the memories of those we lost during the Holodomor. From 1932 to 1933, the Soviet regime orchestrated a deliberate famine. Millions of innocent victims suffered and lost their lives. This was a genocide against the Ukrainian people. And it was an attempt to erase their identity and to destroy their will. But the Ukrainian people endured. Malgré tous les efforts du régime soviétique, les Ukrainiens ont réussi à protéger leur langue, leur culture et leur identité. Et le pays qu'ils ont bâti depuis est un modèle de liberté et de démocratie. Every year during Holodomor Awareness Week and on Holodomor Memorial Day, we remember those we lost and the horrific atrocities that occurred. Because remembering history is often our best hope against repeating it. But as we all know, Ukrainians are once again fighting for their lives and their freedom. Il est désolant que en 2022, le peuple ukrainien soit à nouveau confronté à de telles atrocités, que des enfants souffrent à nouveau, que les droits de la personne soient encore une fois menacés et que des communautés soient détruites. My friends, while the memories of the Holodomor still live with the Ukrainian community, so do the lessons it taught us. That strength and freedom will always win. That the Ukrainian people are resilient and brave and that even in their darkest days, nothing will break their spirit. On this solemn anniversary, as we remember the past, we also reaffirm our unwavering support for Ukraine's sovereignty, its territorial integrity, and its people. We will never back down in our support, and we will never forget those we've lost. Vichna Yim Pamyat. In the early 1930s, Joseph Stalin and his evil communist regime committed an unspeakable act of vile hatred, the Holodomor. In what was called the breadbasket of Europe, Soviet officials went door to door, stealing crops from starving Ukrainians and destroying their homes and watching millions of innocent people starve. As part of a broader attack on Ukrainian identity and culture, these officials committed 
acts of brutality that were deliberately covered up by the Soviet government. Today, on Holodomor Memorial Day, we remember the victims and honor the survivors of this genocide. All Canadians join with the people of Ukrainian heritage at home and around the world to mourn the tremendous loss inflicted on generations of Ukrainian people. Sadly, today, Ukrainians must continue to fight to defend their homeland and their people against familiar evil. The unprovoked attacks from Russia have once again caused needless loss of life and brought painful suffering to Ukraine. As we remember the victims of the Holodomor, we renew our commitment to the people of Ukraine. Canada will always stand with them as they fight to preserve their heritage, their democracy, and their freedom. On behalf of all New Democrats, we remember the over 4 million Ukrainians who were killed and millions more that suffered under the Holodomor genocide. At the time, the international community did not hold those responsible to account. And now we are seeing history repeat itself with Putin's genocidal war against Ukraine. We, as members of the international community, have a responsibility to support the courageous bravery shown by the people of Ukraine. Their resilience is an inspiration, and it is our responsibility to back up that resilience and courage with international support so they can continue to defend themselves against the purposeless, completely senseless violence perpetrated by Putin against Ukraine. Ukrainians have shown incredible resilience, and it is a testament to the strength of their, their community. Again, on behalf of all New Democrats, we remember the Holodomor genocide, and we commit to protecting and supporting the Ukrainian people to prevent that from ever happening again, and to ensure that Ukrainians can continue to thrive in peace and in freedom. Oh.